Hi everyone, welcome to Gyrotech. And in this video, we'll be looking at the Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 presentation, May June 2020, and we're looking at the second variant. So we'll just be heading down into presentations, okay? So presentations where are thou presentations? Mm -mm. Okay, I think I have to just slow it down, okay? Slow it down in general, just slow it down, okay? All right, taxes presentation. You're going to create a short report. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Unless otherwise instructed, slide must be formatted to display a title to and bulleted list. I love this. Every time they keep saying it, okay? All right, so um, create a presentation of six slides using the file J220 um, um, RAM, okay? So obviously, if you're going to import the slide, you have to open such presentations in the background, okay? You have to open it, so open it in the background and then you are going to open where that file is in wherever folder you've kept it, okay? Obviously, your exam, external exam is going to be on the desktop. So I'll click on file, click on open. Um, so I'm just going to toggle it here, folder, just to look at where it is. Um, it should be somewhere around here, so I'm just going to find it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, find it. Um, Ram, yes, I see you. Yeah, open. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yes, enable editing. Okay. Create a presentation of six slides using this. On the slide one, enter your name after the text presented by. Okay. So presented by who? Presented by Agile. Does somebody say Agile? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so on the slide one, enter your name after the title presented by, this is completed. Format the first slide so that a title slide layout is applied with no bullets. Okay. So obviously when you apply the first slide, it takes off all bullets. Okay. So format the first slide, um, we're formatting the first slide. So, um, yes. Okay, so uh, obviously I don't need this. Um, all right. So this is completed. Use the master slide to display only the following features. Okay. So let's um, dive into the master slide. Click on view, slide master. Now for the slide master, this is your slide master. Now whatever you're going to modify on the slide master is going to affect all other slides that are linked together with it. What do I mean? For example, we have, um, I'm just going to give a quick example. I have a box here. Now notice that every other slide is going to have that feature called a square. Okay, so that's what it is. So I'm going to take it off. Hope you were enlightened. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, using the master slide to display only the following features, your name, center number, and candidate number, okay? So we're going to do that. I'm going to click on insert. Headers and footers, um, check the footer, always check it. So agile, and the comma, center number, we have it as AN017, comma, 2023. What else? Automated. Now this is going to be your name, center number, candy number, it can be anywhere, but your automated slide number is going to be on the bottom left. Okay, apply to all. So obviously it will be at the bottom left, okay? Not at the bottom right. So where it is now is at the bottom right. It needs to be at the bottom left. Okay, I'm just going to select all. Click on home. Okay. Likewise, my automated slide number. So I'm going to move this here. I move this here. So this is going to be at the bottom left. Okay. 
and I think we're good to go. All right. Make sure the flight item appears in the same position on every slide because obviously, if you're not doing it, if you're not doing it on the master slide, it's not going to appear. Okay, so obviously, uh, you you're gonna have some reductions of math. There is no overlap on any side. Okay, so uh, no overlap on any side. Okay, I think we're done with the slide master. So let's go to normal slide, normal view. These are presentation views. Your normal view, outline view, slide sorter, the note page view, the reading views. Okay, so I'm going to put it normal view. Okay. Um, move the slide with the title to background so it becomes slide two. Background, so it becomes slide two. Okay. Use the data in the file J220 speed to create a line chart to compare the records for each year for solo females and solo male users only. Okay, include the years as category access level. Okay, so um, obviously we're going into charts. Um, so I'm just going to open that speed. Okay, it's open. Okay, I'm going to save this as a workbook. Okay, save as. I'm just going to save this as a workbook. So we're going to to compare records for each year for solo females and solo male. Okay. For each year, we're comparing records to compare records for each year for solo females and solo male as only. Okay, we're creating a line chart. So click on insert and we're going to create a line chart for it. Okay, um, I think this is. Okay, um, okay, so, um, so we have done this. Label the chart with a title, so let's label with the title. Okay. Format the value axis to display the label miles per hour. Okay. A minimum value of six. Going to format the axis. Going to have a minimum value of six. A maximum value of twenty-two. An increment of four.
So this will be to select data. So we are selecting this data. Only the data values are displayed. Format the chart to display only the data values. Only the data values as labeled display to two decimal places above each above each data point. Okay, um, okay, only the two decimal places. Okay, so two decimal places above eight. So, um, obviously, this, um, I noticed this is not showing. Okay, I'm just going to. I notice the other one is not showing. Um, let me see what could be the problem. Yeah, it's not showing. So um, it's not going to be much. I'm just going to have to delete this because um, or I can go to my chart design because okay, I can change layout. Let me see which can work right now. Mm -mm. I can change type, so it's fine. I think I will just change type. Choose the first one because obviously this other one talks about one line, right? And you could um, do change type is helpful, and then you can see the. You could um in case you make mistake in any chart. Instead of just deleting, um, you could just change it to see. So this is better. So I'm going to add this. So now we have this. So it's fine. So it's always, you can just come to change chart type. And then you can just move your way around it. Just like, for example, I made a mistake. I was supposed to select this because I saw the second one. But obviously, it had just one. So you could always do that in changing. You could change to pie chart. You could change to bar chart. You could just do that. Okay. So uh, that's fine. So I think uh, we've been able to fix that headache. Phew, thank God. Right, so I said only the data values as labeled display to two decimal places above each data point. So um, so what does it mean that we're going to display the labels above um, uh, each of the data point and it needs to be two decimal places, okay? So for example, you could have 2.40, that's a two decimal place. So let's see what we can, um, what we can do about this. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a data label. Fine. And you notice that th th this is um, a whole number. This is one decimal place, but obviously they want it to just appear. That. So what we do is that we'll click here. We come to more options. Okay. And then. Okay. We we'll just click here. Right. And then we click on. Um, Yes, we we'll click on numbers. So obviously what we're going to do is, okay, numbers here, and then change this to numbers, and then we can, you have them right here, two decimal places, okay? Now we can do the same here, and all we have to do is, I'm going to start again, uh, click here, under the data values, data labels, Click more options, scroll down to numbers, change the category from general to number, and then we have them in two decimal places. Okay, so this is fine. Okay, so um, what else? Format the chart to display only the data labels. We have done this. And a legend to display solo females and solo male. So um, at default, we have this 
um, displayed already. Okay. Um, place the chart to the left of the bullet on the slide with the title completion records. So I'm just going to um, save this, click on file and save, and they are going to copy this. Now on the chart, so we're going to look completion of records. Okay, I think we have it here. Completion records. Now we'll place this to the left of the chart. To, we'll place the chart to the left of the bullet. So obviously we're going to have to do this. And we're going to place the chart here. Okay. Okay. Okay, this seems um Okay, this seems fine. All in two decimal. Okay. I want to be sure. Okay. Okay, uh, left of the bullet on the slide with the title. Make sure that all data is fully visible with no overlaps. Okay, there's no overlap to it. Save the presentation. I'm going to save it. Click on file. Click on save. I've not even saved the work. See, that's why it's important to always do that. Um, I'm going to save it with this. Copy. Click on file, click on save. Yeah. Right click, paste. Okay, I'm going to print. Okay, uh, what am I printing? Print the presentation as handout with two slides of the page, each filling half the page. And this will be printout seven. Okay, so obviously that's what it is. Um, so I printed a handout with two slides to the page, each filling half of the page. Print out seven. Okay, print out seven. Okay, so we can check what we have done. Where's the printout? So um, obviously we have done this. This is the chart here. So this is looking good. Um, so yeah, we've done a good job. And our name, center number, center number, candy number shows. So it's fine. And we can go back to our work to say, yeah, we've done a good job. And this is 15 marks. 15 max guys so you can afford to lose or you know afford to let any slip up okay so please it's not important that you watch the videos but also practice along with them it's very very important and please don't just watch like this video and please subscribe to my youtube channel for more amazing ict igcse um practical videos bye